Can you believe how this story has changed? Originally, the reports were, and this was everywhere, Israel fired a rocket into Gaza, taking out a children's hospital, ending the lives of 500 people. That was the story. And then we heard maybe one outlier saying, well, maybe it came from Gaza. And then we heard some other reports. By the time I hit the air two days ago, I had seven sources, even geo-tracking, that said the missile came from Gaza and landed in Gaza. Fast forward to Rashida Tlaib yesterday at the Capitol, out there lying that, again, Israel took out a children's hospital, which now became apparent never happened. Here's today's report. Some news coming out of AFP where an EU official um, has said that it is their understanding that the number of casualties uh, that that occurred at the the explosion in the hospital in Gaza, um, that this number may have been uh, widely exaggerated by Hamas. This is something that Israel has been saying for some time. Um, Now, they're saying that they understand that the casualties are somewhere in the round of uh, a dozen to around 50. Uh, Obviously, we don't have confirmation of this number, but it is far smaller than the hundreds that Hamas was talking about. Okay, so if Israel did it, they targeted a children's hospital and 500 lives were lost. If Hamas or Islamic Jihad did it, 10 to 50 people died and it landed in a parking lot. The fake news is alive and well. Be very careful what you believe. Let me know what you think actually happened there because the real story appears to be the latest report we just saw. Like, comment, make sure you share and follow. Come on!